What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we are back with brand new WWE action figure news, man. And I was going to post this up yesterday, but the reason being is that we had a lot of stuff going on and it didn't seem like we really got any other images. And what I mean by that is there was no like really great images of some of the stuff we're going to cover today. And there may have been some out there, but I did my best to find the best quality images that I could find out there. And I want to give a huge shout out to Philip Dunnett. I think that's his name, Philip Dunnett. I think that's some of the photos that I found. But if you guys were unaware, yesterday, in London for Money in the Bank. Obviously, the show is tonight at the time of recording this. They had WWE action figure reveals. Bill McKenna went over there to the Wrestling Shop UK and they had a little reveal booth and it was just like two little, you know, kind of detolf shelves and they showed off some great looking figures and we're going to break it all down in this video, man. So let's go ahead and get into it. We had some nice little reveals and confirmed a lot of stuff that we're getting into and San Diego Comic Con is just weeks away and some of this stuff was stuff we thought we would see there, but we got to see it early and I'm sure there's going to be plenty of stuff, obviously obviously, to showcase at SDCC, but let's go ahead and dive into these reveals, man. So let's start off first with WWE Elite Series 104, man. This was such big news right here, man. WWE Elite Series 104, we got to finally see the real, like, finished product images, and these are actually shipping out. These are actually shipping out right now. I saw where some people getting their shipping notification emails. So these should be, if you order these, man, they may be on their way right now, and I, it makes me sick, because I don't think I'll be able to get mine until, like, next Thursday. And so reviews for these won't start till the next weekend, probably. So I do apologize for that. But Braun Breaker right here, man. This figure looks immaculate. He is also the chase in this set. And the yellow version is the chase and the pink version is the regular edition so you guys can see there that he's got his pink gear he's got his yellow gear this figure looks fantastic the formula looks really good i think that his proportions are good i can tell that that is the ball joint legs right there this figure is going to pose around great you can just see it he's got the nxt championship great likeness on the head sculpt i think they nailed this one this is a really really good figure here i'm sure a lot of people are going to be excited about this one but we have the chase figure and the regular edition i like both of them i don't think i really have a dog in the fight man i, I I think I'd pick the pink one just because you guys know how I feel about pink. It's one of my favorite colors, so this is all up there for me. Pink looks great. The yellow looks great. I'm definitely going to be tracking down both of these if possible, but I am glad that the pink one is the regular edition, but he is looking great, and I don't think we got like more images of Rick Steiner, but a lot of people were worried that we weren't going to see Rick Steiner, like that it was canceled, because when they first initially showed off this wave, Rick Steiner apparently wasn't around to be photographed, and then Steve had to take to the forums, and he said, no, we are getting we are still getting Rick Steiner. Here's an image of it and we we got to see a men on card image if there was an image out there that was not men on card and it was loose and i got to see all that i'll try to plug these in if not it'll just be the steel image in the packaging but it looks good both of them look good i think they definitely need to go in a review together it only makes the most sense so that will be really awesome but not only did we get braun breaker who looks fantastic we all got we also got to see aj styles and when i tell you brad when i saw this aj styles figure i got chills thinking about it i know that sounds crazy but when i saw this image of of this AJ Styles and this updated torso, I legitimately crumbled into the floor, and it was hilarious. It was just a, a moment, just an immaculate moment, Brad. AJ Styles has the Sin Cara torso. Oh my god. I am over the god dang moon, Brad. Not only do we get a red gear, but we also get the Sin Cara torso. Now, it's not perfect, okay? It's not perfect. I wish he had chest hair. I wish he had stomach hair. But this is the beginning, man. I posted on my Instagram, and I've talked about it on my channel for years. I, po I made a full-fledged post in April talking about Mattel doing away with with the Daniel Bryan torso for AJ Styles. And I put some comparisons of some customs made by Angelo, who does all of Gene Addy's customs of his AJ Styles that he's been making for years. And it's just a perfect formula for AJ Styles. And they finally gave it to us, man. That that post on Instagram got like 36, 3,700 likes. And a lot of people commented saying that they agreed with me. And on April 1st, we actually saw the render image of Elite 104 AJ Styles. And then I make my post on April 13th condemning that torso and talking about how they needed to switch it and then they ended up switching it so I don't know if my post or my words had anything to do with it but my god we finally have a more accurate better looking AJ Styles torso this fits him perfectly I will say the crotch piece and the thighs are still AJ Styles so he does have a little bit skinny legs but I will take this W and run to the hills Brad they also gave him 
his classic skin tone. So they gave him the right skin tone, not the Ultimate Edition skin tone. They gave him an Ultimate Edition head sculpt with the right AJ Styles skin tone on the Sin Cara torso. I mean, dude, this is an immaculate W. But the not only does this torso look good, but this figure looks immaculate. I'm loving the red and black gear. We've been waiting on a red AJ Styles, and I think they nailed it. This AJ Styles could be the best Elite AJ Styles they've ever made. I think I'm right there with you. They added knee pads to it. He's got the gloves, sculpted hands. He's got two sweet hands. This is a beautiful piece. I cannot wait to get my hands on this AJ Styles. Oh my god. I just want to collapse into the floor. But I will say it's kind of short-lived because if you guys know, they finally showed off Elite 104 Solo Sokoa and it's like, it's like Thanos, man. We had to trade a soul for a soul. We had to give up. AJ Styles had to take off his Daniel Bryan torso and trade it away to Solo Sokoa just for him to get the Sin Cara torso because Solo Sokoa still has the Daniel Bryan torso, man. They did not fix the torso, so he still has this bummy formula right here that makes him look like he lost 50 60 pounds. Oh, I will say that the figure's lower half looks better because it has knee pads on it. It doesn't look as skinny, but this is not, this does not work for me, man. This does not work for me. This is way too small of a torso. We set it back then. He has an Usos crotch. He has the Usos crotch, so you guys can see that, like, it didn't mold up onto his stomach, which his shorts usually do. I don't know what we're gonna do with this figure, man, but, like, the likeness is good. The head sculpt's good. Like, I like the colors and everything going on with it. I like the towel. The shirt that he comes with doesn't even have velcro on it or if it does it's not shown on the back they actually have the we the ones logo they have the we the ones on the back as well with the hand i mean this figure has so much potential but the torso is way too small man torso is way too small and he also doesn't come with samoan spike hands man he doesn't have samoan spike hands so how is he supposed to solo sokoa spike the hell out of cody Rhodes at wrestlemania without his thumb oh my god i'm so pleased with the aj styles that it's hard to be mad at this solo sokoa but this solo sokoa is a crazy choice man he is way too damn small man he's just way too small it's just the facts of the matter man he's way too small i I don't know how this even happened. I... <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say, man. This Solo Sokoa is wrong. It's just dead wrong. I love the accessories. He also has a white towel instead of a black towel, which isn't the biggest deal to me. You know, I do. It, it does look like this is a new towel mold, but the We The One shirt is great. I love the head sculpt, and that's about it, man. Everything else is just... Pfft. He's gonna take a Frankenstein effort to get him right, but God in heaven. The AJ Styles, like, levels out this Solo Sokoa for me because that's how big of a W that AJ Styles is. Fixing that is a huge W, but the Solo is a huge L. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? They're kind of meeting at a, at a standstill. We also had Drew McIntyre from Elite 104. This Drew McIntyre is a great Drew McIntyre. It looks like the Elite 89, but it's a repaint. I actually like this gear a lot, and this figure looks damn good. I, I, Drew, Drew McIntyre figures always look good. This looks great. You know, it's just your run-of-the-mill Drew McIntyre. He's got his kilt. He's got his sword. It's a great-looking figure. All of his figures as of late have been so damn good. So this Drew McIntyre is just another great one. And then finishing up our set, we do have Dakota Kai, and I like this Dakota Kai. I like the head sculpt. I think the, the facial scan is kind of weird, but I think it works for her. I also don't like how they do like the fishnets on the legs. They just paint their legs like this dark color. They did the same thing with Rhea Ripley. And they did the same thing. And they did the same thing with Liv Morgan on her arms. And so it just looks weird how she has like this bright purplish orangish weird color on her legs. But I still like the figure. I love the gear. The pink and black looks good. They're still giving them basic kick pads, which is crazy. But at least it poses, poses around nice. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. The head sculpt looks good. I like this Dakota Kai. And I think the coloration looks really good. So that is your Elite 104. Overall, mixed vibes. But there's some damn good stuff going on in this wave, man. I'm really hyped but about the AJ Styles. But I'm damn damn upset about that Solo Sokoa. They couldn't fit. I'm guessing they went to the drawing board late and couldn't figure it out or couldn't figure it out without retooling. I guarantee he will be fixed on the next one, though. At least we pray to Jesus that he is. Now, next up, man, in these details, there's not a lot of good images. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it down for, for you a little bit and kind of showcase these. We got to see this Greatest hit series. We got to see some Royal Rumble Elites. We got to see a couple Build-A-Figures. And we also got to see this new Best of Flashbacks wave. And we got to also see EO Sky and Braun Strowman from Elite Series 105. So I just kind of want to break down everything and showcase everything, man. So first of all, let's get into this Greatest Hits wave. So in this Greatest Hits wave, you are going to have R-Truth, John Nada, or Roddy Piper as John Nada, Typhoon and Earthquake, Elite 33 Seth Rollins, Bray Wyatt, Brutus Beefcake from the Legend Series, and the Hollywood Elite Scorpion King Rock figure. And I want to break down everything right here, man. So this Bray Wyatt figure is actually a really big deal. If you guys were unaware, this is actually the previously canceled Epic Moments WWE Elite Ultimate Deletion Bray Wyatt 
that came with Matt Hardy. It's the same sculpts and everything like that. They changed the pants to this light khaki brown color, and they have all the patches on there. So I thought that was a really clever idea from Mattel to take that Ultimate Deletion Bray Wyatt and plug it in right here recolored. So previously the figure did have red pants. Now it has brown pants. I hope to God he comes, I doubt he'll come with the mower of lawns, but maybe he'll come with the dilapidated boat. I know we got the dilapidated boat in the Network Spotlight series with Matt Hardy, but I think the mower of lawns would be just so incredible, man, because we didn't get our mower of lawns previously. To plug that into this figure would be such an immaculate W, but I don't know if they can fit that in the packaging. So that'll be a whole deal there. Highly doubt we get the mower of lawns but this Bray Wyatt was my favorite figure revealed outside of the AJ Styles and like Elite 104. Breaking down the greatest hits wave, uh, the Bray Wyatt is a massive W right there. I like that Bray Wyatt a lot. Now getting into the rest of them, the Rock is Scorpion King, pretty much the same exact figure. I never got my hands on that figure. I think it looks immaculate. And we already knew about this wave. We did a whole video breaking down this wave and what figures would probably fit here in the greatest hits wave. The Rock is Scorpion King, uh, I don't know, man. I, I don't know about that inclusion there. I'm glad that I'm going to be able to get the figure now, but uh, I, I don't know. I, I feel like a lot of people are really like crapping on the greatest hits wave you guys can let me know what you think down below just the selections themselves but we also have brutus beefcake in this wave i already touched on it i knew it would be this legends figure from the same set as the ddp we're getting in or that we got in greatest hits series number two not that big of a deal there we have the TNF Earthquake and Typhoon figures. We already knew this would be what they are. You know, we, we saw these previously in the Walmart exclusive, then now Forever lines. They have double jointed arms. They're really big arms, too. Look at Typhoon. His freaking arms are jacked as hell instead of the fatter arms. So that, you know, this, this is a way for people to get their hands on those figures that missed out on those. This Seth Rollins figure, man, this is the last figure I thought we would see in this wave, man. This figure right here, I don't know who wanted this. And it's the head sculpt's the exact same, except it has true effects. At least it looks like it. I do not like this inclusion. I definitely do not like this inclusion in the Greatest Hits line. I thought for sure it would be Elite 45 Rollins. I guess maybe they're trying to include that at a later date in a, you know, like redoing that figure. But why not just skip over Seth Rollins? I don't know why you would include a shield Seth Rollins. Elite 33. This is his worst Elite. Like, arguably the worst Seth Rollins Elite figure out there. The head sculpt looked nothing like him. He has the lighter skin tone compared to Seth Rollins. It's just not, uh, it's not that good, man. The hair's, like, short. It looks very odd. I don't know. I just don't like that pick. I thought that was a very strange selection there for the Greatest Hits wave. We have John Nada. Uh, I like that we're getting this body mold with double-jointed arms, and that's really all I can say. I'm sure it'll have the flannel, which will be cool. I already have a few of that figure, but I guess, you know, people that missed out on it, this, this is becoming really a wave of figures that people missed out on, or maybe their distribution wasn't the greatest, but that's another selection there. And then we have the Elite 10 or truth here. Very random selection here. I don't know how many people have been trying to get their hands on Elite 10 or truth. I'll take an R-Truth Elite, but I thought for sure this would be the Elite 78, uh, but uh, who am I? You know, I, I don't know. Elite 10 R-Truth, it, it looks solid. It looks like the Elite 10 R-Truth with double-jointed arms, and it looks like it does have the Elite 78 R-Truth gloved hand, which I wish they would give a Seth Rollins Elite two of those. I'd really love to see two sculpted glove hands in that mold that comes with the Elite 78 R-Truth, but that is your Greatest Hits Series 3 figures. And then we also have the Best of Legends figures, apparently. It's like a Best of Legends set, and it's going to include, like, different Legends figures that we've seen in the past. So pretty much what they're doing is either, A, they're re-releasing previous Legends in different ways. So it's not like actual Legends that were Target exclusive or whatever. It's Legendary figures, or like Hall of Fame level talent, or Legendary talent in previous figure form. So right here, you have this British Bulldog, which is his previous Legends figure with double-jointed arms. You have the Retro Fest GameStop exclusive Honky Tonk Man with a new head sculpt. You have Bruno San Martino in a recoloration of his Elite 25 figure with the podium and his trunks are a different color. If you look back in the back, you also have a flashback Walmart exclusive American Ultimate Warrior. And then you also have a Terry Funk Elite 41 figure. So they've kind of bounced all over the place here, giving us different guys and different looks. And, you know, I don't know. This is a very weird kind of wave in the way they're doing these things. But they're up they're updating them with double jointed arms, which is great. Uh, you guys can let me know what you think down below. I think this is going to be a set that a lot of people are interested in because you get, you know, you get an opportunity to get figures you missed out on, and they're updating them with double jointed arms. So it looks like we're going to have two waves going forward that feature re-releases of previous talents. So I don't know how you feel, how you guys feel about that one. I'd love to know what you think there, but a lot to take in, I know. And the images aren't the greatest of all time. If we end up getting better images of these, I will of course post them up. But 
I don't think Ringside Collectibles was there to, to make or take really good photos of these clear images. And nobody really shared them around that, you know, the best images we could find, I put them in here. So I do apologize for that. But also, we had some Royal Rumble elites over here. You guys will see we have Ridge Holland. We have the Beth Phoenix. We have the 2005 Batista with a thumbs down. And then we have the two Build-A-Figure figures that are coming soon. You have the Survivor Series British Bulldog. I think that's the Survivor Series, but... He's got a lot of cool dry brushing going on right there. Like, look at that new leg mold right there with the sculpting and the dry brushing. That also looks to be... I don't think it's a new torso, but it kind of looks like it. It kind of looks like the John Cena torso with, with the shorter shorts. You know, not the long jorts torso mold, but the other one. Uh, good looking head sculpt on that guy as well. And then we have the Build-A-Figure Royal Rumble Elite Virgil. And that Virgil figure looks damn good. I like the, the striped pants. I like the head sculpt. All these figures that we got shown off look pretty good for the most part. You know, we, ha we had some good looking stuff going around here. I, I, I loved this. I'm also noticing, I don't think that, uh, did that Ultimate Warrior come with the Purple World Championship? I'm noticing back in the back, the Ultimate Warrior is coming with the Purple World title. Nonetheless, we also got to see a couple images of EO Sky and Braun Strowman down there, which again, I'm sure we're going to get better images of those guys here soon, whether it's at Comic-Con or whether if they post Elite 105 or whatever the hell the case is there. But EO Sky looks damn good in the white and gold and black, and then you have Braun Strowman in the red pants, which also looks good, and it looks like he features a new torso mold, at least it looks like it, I could be wrong about that though, it looks like he's got more cut up and stuff like that, but I thought overall it was a pretty cool day of reveals just to see some different stuff, the Elite 104 stuff was my favorite, the Builder figures look really good, I'm, I'm digging it man, I'm digging this stuff, and also, the previously released Ultimate Warrior, the Ultimate Warrior Best Of, that series with Stone Cold where they've re-released the first Ultimate Warrior, it's actually got the newer torso on it with butterfly joints, so they changed the torso on the previously released Ultimate Edition Series 1 Ultimate Warrior, so that's something to definitely take note of. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, they have Ultimate Edition Bobby Lashley up there as well. There was the Ultimate Edition Bobby Lashley in the McDonald's gear. He's looking pretty damn good, man. I, I'm excited for that one. You know, it's a, it's a weird gear, but every time I look at it, I'm going to have to go to McDonald's or something like that, but... I like the t-shirt. The head sculpts look good. Should be a fun release there. I feel like Bobby Lashley is getting all kinds of damn figures. I wish that figure was in the white gear, but I guess, you know, we just got to build a bridge on this one. But that was your full figure reveals at the wrestling shop in London, man. I thought it was a pretty damn good day of reveals. You know, it's just a small little detail shelf. Nothing too immaculate or crazy, but plenty of stuff to break down and talk about. But the AJ Styles was a huge W. The Solo Sokoa was a huge L, so... I want to know all down below what you guys think of all these things. I would like to talk with you down in the comment section below. But I am getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on all of these things down in the comment section below. But before we get out of here, a huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate you guys so very much. Thank you for your continued support. If you guys are interested in becoming a patron member, you can click the links down in the description below. But I'm getting out of here, man. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. We'll never